There we go. Awesome. Now you can hear me. Perfect. Okay, my name is Seth Jorgensen. Um, I'll introduce the rest, more facts about me later, but that's because I think you all are a lot more interested in seeing a magic trick than you are in learning about me. And So I need two volunteers for this first trick. Yeah, right there and right there. Will you come on up? Step right up here. All right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to just take any card. Just take one. Perfect. Show it to the audience. It's okay if I see it. It doesn't really matter. You got it? Everyone's got it? Perfect. Her card's going to go into the deck. We can mix it up. We can shuffle it right here. Will you take these cards and will you spread them all over the floor? Spread them along the stage. Perfect. This is a trick that I love a lot because it incorporates two of my favorite things, pogoing and cards. Yeah, keep them all face down. Good. Perfect. Now, your card was the six of hearts, right? Okay, you guys can go ahead and take a seat. Um, we're going to try this right now, okay? Okay. Um, there's one in 52 chance that this card that's somehow sticking to the bottom is actually the six of hearts. Is it? Whew. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. That was a lot of luck right there. I, I don't really know how that happened. Um, I'll pick that up later. As I said, my name's Seth Jorgensen. Um, I'm a senior at the River Academy. Um, I'm 16 years old, and I don't really perform a lot of magic. I don't like to say that I perform magic. I like to say that I perform tricks. Um, for example, not very many people think that you need magical powers to solve a Rubik's Cube. Most people accept that you just have to learn the tricks behind it. And once you've learned the trick behind a Rubik's Cube, you can solve it like that. What's really hard about solving a Rubik's Cube is what you do after you solve it, which is unsolving it. Um, unsolving a Rubik's Cube is actually a lot harder than it sounds, because once you get it solved, it doesn't matter how much you mix it up, how thoroughly you mix it up, because it always will come back to where it started. Solved. But enough about that. Um, for this next trick, um, I'm going to need a volunteer who has super, super magical feet. So I actually have a, uh, I actually have a ball in my pocket, and I'm going to throw this out to someone, and if you catch it, then you, you obviously have magical feet, and you can come on up here. So, so it's not going to work right now. That wasn't supposed to happen. Ready, watch. Ball goes into this hand. <laughs> yup. Forget about the balls. I just need someone who has magical feet. You have? Do you have magical feet? Are you sure? Okay, if you think you have magical feet, come on up on stage. I'm also going to need my assistant, Magical Sam. Yeah! And my one other assistant. Come on up here. Perfect. Magical feet. Really? Okay. All right, will you hold this right here? Magical Sam's going to go right there. And Magical Feet, you have a very special job. Okay, on this board, go ahead and show. There are four aces. The four aces that I removed from this ginormous deck of playing cards. Now, here's what we're gonna do. 
we are going to take three cards and put them onto each ace. Perfect. Here's one, two, three more. One, two, three more. Oh, perfect. Just fix it. Three more for the Ace of Clubs. And you don't need to worry about what these cards are. They're just random. It doesn't actually make any difference to the trick. Three more for the Ace of Hearts. They're just sort of space killers. All right, now we are done with the giant deck. Perfect. Everyone, let's clap for Sam. Woo. Perfect. All right, now you said you have magical feet. Here's where the magic feet come in handy. Will you grab the Ace of Spades, Sam, and the three cards on top of it, and go set it right over there on the floor? Now, magic feet, will you please stand on those with your magic feet? And do not move your feet off of there. Perfect. Now, Sam, will you go ahead and hand me one of the Aces and the three random cards on top? Perfect. So here we have one, two, three cards and the Ace of Diamonds. Is it so four cards total, three random cards, and the ace of diamonds. Right here, I flip the ace of diamonds over so that it's backwards and we can find it easier. Three random cards, the ace of diamonds. Sam, will you take the ace of diamonds? Blow on it. Show it to the audience. The ace has disappeared. <laughs> One, two, three cards, and the ace. Or the, not the ace, it was the ace. Okay, will you hand me the next one, please? Magic feet, you're still standing there? Good, don't move. We have three cards. One, two, three, and the ace of clubs or clovers, depending on what you call it. I say clubs. I'm going to flip the ace of clubs over so that we have our three cards and our ace of clubs, which is now backwards. Sam, will you take on the, take that? Now please blow. Show it to the audience. The ace. You can clap for that. He has magical blowing. <laughs> perfect. Set those right down over there. Or put it back up. Yeah, perfect. Now, will you hand me the last ace, Sam? Magic feet. You haven't moved, have you? No? Have I Have I come up anywhere near you over there? No? Not till now. Whoops. We have one, two, three cards, and the ace of hearts this time. Watch. Right here, I flip over the Ace of Hearts. One, two, three cards, and the Ace of Hearts flipped over. Sam, will you just give it a blow? Show it to the audience. Once more, the Ace has vanished completely. Now, Magic Feet, have you moved at all? Magic Feet, what's your actual name? You said Tegan? All right, Tegan, AKA Magic Feet, has not moved the whole entire time. She's been standing on those three cards and the Ace of Spades. Tegan, will you please step off of the cards? Will you please, yeah, Sam, just pick them up. Show the cards to the audience. The Ace of Hearts, Ace of Clubs, Ace of Diamonds, and the Ace of Spades. Thank you, Magic Feet, you can have a seat. Thank you, Sam. Um, one more round of applause to the board holder, <laughs> who is my sister. Thank you, Sam. Now you got to bow. You got to give a big bow. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, I'll put it back. <laughs>